Greetings, friends at Lightning Lab GovTech. This is Audrey Tang, Taiwan's Digital Minister. I'm very happy to be here virtually to share with you some thoughts around cross-sectoral and international collaboration. In Taiwan, we always believe that digital transformation happens in the civil society. The civil society is great in recognizing actual social needs, and the private sector can also introduce the cutting-edge technologies and know-how of how to solve this in innovative ways. Combined together, the public sector's role is rather one of facilitating and providing sufficient data and political will for the innovation to happen. This idea is called forking the government, taking the existing service, proving a better way, and then merging back into public service. A few months ago, our presidential hackathon, organized by the president's office, it's not just a two-day or three-day hackathon, it's actually three months, and structured much like your accelerator program here. In the end, more than 100 proposals came together, and we selected five teams, and imbuing them with the political will and support of the president's office to use cutting-edge technology to solve pressing social needs. Water Savia is one of the five teams. It's born at the Taiwan Water Corporation. They're solving a problem that is increasingly serious worldwide, water loss from urban distribution systems due to leakage. And they use the Internet of Things and machine learning technologies to detect and predict leakage in water mains, leading to reduced water loss and much faster repair times. The team was comprised of the Water Corporation and a data scientist from the administration, as well as from people in the civil society and academics and even graduate students. And together, they have successfully deployed their solutions in Taiwan, and they're now looking to deploy in other jurisdictions worldwide. So we're very happy to have the opportunity of Lightning Lab GovTech to implement the solution in New Zealand, as well as explore new markets, business models, and methodologies to help promote better water resilience worldwide, which is one of the very important sustainable development goals. Two team members will be resident in your accelerator in Wellington full-time, including Dr. Huang Lijin, a data scientist with a PhD in computer science from the Department of Information here in the Taiwan administration. And so I look forward to what more collaboration in the future and using the Sustainable Development Goals as our compass. I am also committed to surface more social innovations around Taiwan as well as building more international connections. Thank you for listening.